What's up guys? I hope you guys can actually hear me now because I got my microphone repaired. I don't know if you guys noticed or not in my Legoland video, some of the audio was kind of poppy and crackly and that's because, well, I figured out I had a short in my cable of my Rode microphone, but I reached out to Rode and they're awesome enough to replace it for me. So I got my microphone replaced and I'm very happy about it. So yeah, I got a fun video for you guys today. I'm going to do some skateboard photography with my friend Austin. He's a super good skater and I reached out to him and I was like, hey, let's do some skate photos and he was down so we're gonna go to the skate park let's go so i'm at the skate park and i'm just waiting on austin to get here and then we're gonna take some cool photos and then i figured i, I could take photos of him doing a few tricks and then actually edit the photos and show you guys how i edit them so i'll come back to you guys when he gets here hello friend cold. it is pretty cold And apparently it's supposed to be like 70 degrees next week. 70? Yeah, because that's how Ohio works. I really thought you said 7. 7? Like, yeah. I was like, that's terrible. It's going to be 7 degrees. 7 cold. Ohio weather sucks. Hey, try a trick on my board. No. Try it. <laughs> I forgot to change my board out. This is terrible. Yeah. It's so heavy. How heavy do you think it would be? Uh, I I I was guessing around like 15. Yeah, 15, 20 at least. Dude, it's heavy. That sounds terrible. I know. That noise <laughs> is what my nightmares are made of. In case you guys missed it last week, that's the board that I had in last week's video. So for this, I'm gonna use this Yongnuo 4 and the control for it on top of my camera. I can change the settings. My current settings are 1 at 250th of a second and my f-stop is 9 and I'm at about 250 ISO. Moving to the rail. What way are you coming from? I can go this way if you want. Okay. I did it. It came off. It didn't stay up, but it came off. I kicked it off. 
Just cut all the other ones out and make it look super sweet. <laughs> Get it first try. Man, Austin's doing some pretty cool tricks. So now that you've seen this footage, I am going to now show you guys how I'm gonna edit these photos by doing a screen capture of me editing these photos in Lightroom. And you'll probably see them already imported just so you guys don't have to see that process. So I just, I'm just gonna import them and then I'm gonna go through and pick the favorites that I'm gonna edit. And then you guys are gonna watch me edit those. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys when I get back to, when I get back home. What's up guys? So as I told you earlier, we're going to get into the computer and I'm gonna show you guys how I would edit these photos. So we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. Let's get into it. All right, so as you guys can see, this is a photo of my friend Austin and he's doing a crooked grind on this box, on this bench rather. And I'm kind of moving it around to where I kind of like it, the crop wise. And then for contrast, I normally add about 15, 15 to 20, I'll do 20 on this one. And then we'll add some clarity, about 20 as well. And then we got these highlights over here to the right. So I'll bring those down a little bit to about 80, negative 80. And then now I will, that looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna go down here and add some sharpening. Detail. I always put these all the way up, I don't know why. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do it, but it's just how I do it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to the basic tab, add some vibrance to about, let's do 55. So that looks pretty cool. I'm going to add some black in, back into it. So let's do negative 20. So I like this photo and I actually like this lens flare over here too. Ooh. Actually, there's some white over here, so I'm gonna get rid of that, bring the highlights down, a little bit of the white out. There we go, I like that photo. Actually, let's center Austin a little bit more. Okay, all right, I like that. I like that photo, let's see. All right, so I like that one, so I'm gonna export it. Austin Skate Photos Vlog. This one's for you guys. Then here's another shot that I really like because it's more of a head-on shot. So I'm gonna crop that and then bring it over just a little bit. I kind of like how he's off center. I really like this photo. So we're gonna throw this up to 20 for the contrast. Clarity, 25. And then let's 70 for the vibrance. This looks really cool. I love that I use an off-camera flash for it, as you guys saw me doing the photos. And because I feel like if I didn't, it wouldn't look as cool. I honestly like this photo a lot. I'm gonna maybe add some black into it. Not a whole lot. Let's do like negative 10. And then bump up the shadows just a little bit. About 70. Okay, I like that. Here's a little before and after. I really like this photo. I'm happy with it. And I'm gonna export it. I do kind of like this one though, just cause it gives me a different angle and you can see more of what's going on around Austin. So let's go ahead and edit this one. And then I don't know why, but I always edit the contrast first and then I always go to the clarity. I don't know why, it's just what I've kind of always done. And then this one is a little darker. So I'm gonna bump up the shadows all the way and then I'm gonna add a little bit of exposure. So that looks sweet. I'm already pretty happy with that. But I always go down to the detail tab and then I bump up the radius and the detail and the masking all the way up. I don't know why, I don't know where I learned that from, but I've just kind of always done it and I'm super happy with it. And then this one right here is probably one of my favorites. I saw that one off camera and I was like, yo, that's the one. Actually, I really like both of these. I'm gonna edit both of them, might as well. Okay. Get Austin more, there we go. This is a sweet photo. All right, 
Let's go up and then do 15 on contrast and then 25 for clarity. And then we'll do vibrance about 70 again. Sweet. All right, more black in the photo. So we'll do negative 30 and then a little bit of shadows brought back. This one might be the thumbnail. I really like this photo. I'm gonna straighten it up a little bit more. Okay, so although I don't really like how you can see my bag sitting there, maybe I can get rid of it. All right, so bring in the, I've got the heel tool in and I'm just gonna kinda drag it over. Boom. Now you can't even really tell the bag was ever there. Okay, so I'm happy with this photo and there's the before and after. I might add a little bit more vibrance to it and then bring the exposure down a little, maybe the highlights down a little. That, I really like that. And then I'm gonna export that. Awesome. So I kind of showed you guys a behind the scenes of me doing photos of Austin. And then I showed you how I would edit these photos and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you kind of like this Lightroom tutorial and this kind of behind the scenes video, if you guys liked it, let me know and I'll do more of them because I'm always doing photos. I've thought about doing one of these for concerts to where I kind of like put a GoPro on top of my camera and take photos and then come in and edit the footage and show you guys how I would edit a concert photo. So if you guys want to see that, let me know because I might be going to a concert next weekend and might be interesting. But yeah, if you guys want to see that, let me know. I upload videos here every Sunday. If you guys liked what you saw, subscribe if you want. If not, it's okay. I understand. But if you did like what you saw, subscribe and click the bell for notifications to be notified when I upload. Because like I said, I upload every Sunday. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Have a great week, guys. See ya. Cornelius is back. Just kidding. It's me. See you guys.